so I wondered, did the company iways hire somebody from Citroën to program this range prediction? Because at Citroën the same thing happens when you hit 5% of state of charge it is the end of the prediction. Back at Fastnet with the iways. Now this is a cool spot for a charging port, don't you think? Liquid cooled cables, 5% in the battery. Wait a second, the car told me 5%. The charger, the Alpitronic hypercharger, says 10%. What is going on here? This is the first time ever that a charger and a car are not saying the same thing, but it changed. The first reading was incorrect or incomplete or who knows. So the charging speed at the other ABB charger was around 70 kilowatts. So now we're hitting 79 almost. And I've seen 220 amps so far. Ah, and now we're hitting nearly 230 amps. And it might ramp up from here or not. So, somewhere I read that the car should be able to do 90 kilowatt charging speed. But, yeah, it's winter. Can't drive really fast in the Netherlands. Also, the car doesn't seem to be really great at consumption when you drive fast. So, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Look at this Maxus, by the way. And the hotel. Ah, we're hitting 80 kilowatts now. So let's see what the inside says. Still the same, so this might be the max amps it can take. But if the volts are going up, then that's all good. Okay, so it's getting interesting. The amps have gone up to nearly 250. And that means one thing that means we're getting nearly the promised charging speed quite a big bump up to 88 point something kilowatt i weighs i'm not done with you yet it might be a very interesting vehicle that's of course why i asked to try it out but uh, this is a nice moment now let's see if it can handle this for a while or if tapering will start soon. Imagine if it can do 90% till 90 kilowatt till 50 or nearly 90 kilowatt till 50%. Then if you have enough chargers, you can just raise the thing and uh, yeah, don't lose too much time. Interesting. So it can handle nearly 250 amps. I wonder if this has to do with the battery heating up. Thanks to the charging process, it's already the third fast charger that I'm connected to today. Never did a long session though, so couldn't have really helped a lot. It's crazy, you can't, the, the lights go off you can't leave them on, I think, when you're charging. It just goes automatically. The car does a lot of things automatically. 89.3 kilowatts. Unfortunately, the amps are dropping quite significantly at 25% already. So the charging session is now doing 85. 85.5 kilowatts. Not bad, but if it keeps dropping, then 
Yeah, that's not what we want, of course. The Iways U5 with the charging spot, charging port in the most interesting spot yet. All the way up front. Here we are at 40%, still going steady at 81 point something kilowatts. And ooh, small amp drop was at 220 just before. Dropping a little bit, but if the volts keep going up, then it doesn't matter too much. Let's see what happens at 50%. Quite the amp drop before we hit 50% here at 45%. So now nearly 77 kilowatt speed left, 76. What will happen after the 50% mark? Will it keep dropping? Who knows? Never have I charged the highways before. Here we are at 50%, at 71 kilowatts. So no, it's not really steady. 80 kilowatt speed is not continuously guaranteed. But let's see if it can keep up to 70 for a while. One hundred seventy amps here at sixty percent by now. After how many minutes? Twenty-five minutes. We added thirty-two kilowatt hours into the battery, still going at sixty-four kilowatt speed. So yeah, no charging monster here, but yeah, for the budget, forty thousand euros in the Netherlands. Pretty nice. Still 155 amps at 65%. And it seems like it's going to drop under the 60 kilowatt speed mark anytime soon. So the question is. How long do you stay at the charger with the iways U5? After half an hour, you will have nearly 40 kilowatt hours extra. At least when you arrive pretty much empty. I arrived here at 5%. So at 88%, there's only 20 kilowatts left. I think it is about time to go, 50 amps. Let's leave this place. I just helped them charge up their brand new Polestar. They got it only today, the moon model. And this is the iways U5. You definitely don't want to charge this to 90% because by now you're only beating AC charging because it's a one-phase charging vehicle.